Hey everyone, building a ball when burns buzz around, uh, Mad Bean Bumblebee, and I'm just changing the germanium transistors in the circuit to see what difference it'll make. So I'm going to do a few different combinations and um, just record the result. Uh, this is actually for my own curiosity to see what the difference is so I can hear it back. And obviously if you're building one of these yourself, you might be interested to hear um, uh, if there's much difference or not with the, um, with the, the gain of the transistors. They reckon you should use a tone bender set, the same set that you'd use for a tone bender. So I might just look that up and see what they are and put those in as well and see um, uh, see how they sound. So yeah, it's just a few sound samples chain playing around with the with the germanium transistors. And I'm actually going to tape um, those knobs down in that um, uh, in in those in that setting and leave them there because otherwise it's not going to be a fair comparison. So they're all on about three quarters at the moment. So here goes. So there's a few different germanium transistor combinations. Um, I, I couldn't really hear a hell of a lot of difference when I was playing the guitar. 
Um, I might be able to hear that when I listen back to the sound through the computer, but um, yeah, in front of the amp, I couldn't. I, there was some difference, but it wasn't night and day. And um, yeah, if you're sort of worried about the you know getting the exact values for the germanium transistors, I mean that the the first one that I did were between 50 and 60 um, HFE, and um, it still sounded pretty damn good. So yeah, it might help you buy the uh, transistors as well um, if you're if you're um, uh, looking for some to buy and you're checking out the gain ranges. You can see that um, yeah, even the low gain stuff sounds pretty damn good in in this particular circuit. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.